Hello friend, this is Sanjay Kumar, founder of Selectors Hub. Request you please subscribe to the channel if you are new here to get all the upcoming updates. Thank you. XPath versus CSS Selector, which one is faster? I'm sure like there has been never a single uh, automation webinar, workshop or anything, any discussion where people has not asked this question that which one is faster. So yes, theoretically we can prove that XPath uh, is slower than CSS selector and CSS selector is faster than XPath region being CSS selector is written based on the properties of the element while XPath is like kind of uh, XML queries where it used to traverse from top to bottom in the DOM. So let's see practically like whether it really make a difference or not. So this is the screenshot where I have shown this uh, difference when we executed with XPath when we executed the code with CSS selector. So when I executed the code with XPath here, so you can see the difference between start time and end time was around 27 and this is in the millisecond. After five digit, there was a difference. So it is roughly the difference is 27. While in case of CSS selector, after uh, five digit, if we see 287376, here there was a difference of around 29. So here uh, like logically and with the real time, it took less time for XPath while CSS selector took more time. There could be multiple regions that uh, when I executed the code, my uh, browser was faster, internet speed was faster, website got loaded faster than the other one. So we'll see it. Uh, we, we can't judge on the basis of this. So let's see uh, multiple iteration. So here on selectors of website, we'll do a practice on this page, practice page here. This is a page which I created to practice all kind of XPath and uh, CSS selectors, more complex and rare scenarios like uh, shadow DOM, etc. So suppose we want to enter value in these three fields, username, password, company. We'll see the difference with these three, if any difference is there in the performance of XPath and CSS selector. So let's open selectors up here. We'll inspect this. So this is, let's say, first we'll go with the XPath, copy this. So this is a piece of code which I already written. And here I printed the start time, end time. So let's enter some value here, ABC. Then uh, inspect password, copy this. And here we'll enter something, let's say XYZ. Then we'll copy the company thing and x path and here we'll enter some value let's say we enter selectors okay so we'll execute this code and see how much uh, time it will take it will print the start time and end time both here so it has opened the browser and yes it is taking some time yep it got open it has entered the value the difference between 30083 30084 so this is the time difference let me take this screenshot and then we will compare later with the CSS selector. So this was the time it has taken with XPath. Let me comment all these three commands and print it here for CSS selector. So let's execute this, <coughs> sorry. Let's inspect this and take the CSS selector code here. First one, let's say send please. Same value we will enter, ABC. And then uh, enter password, copy this, send please x y z then company name copy this and paste it and send keys selectors let's execute this and see what is the difference between time so here it is executing And the difference between 301519301522 here. So let's take this screenshot. Okay, now let me open the previous screenshot and compare this with that one. <coughs> this was the X path one. Okay. So you will see this. It was uh, 30833084. So if we uh, subtract this one here, the difference is like uh, almost like four, 37 and this is 40. So this is three. The difference between these, like after four digits, there is a difference of so 40 and 37. So this is three. 
while here with the css selector 30153015 and this is 1922 so here also it is difference of 3 and then 47 <laughs> so let's say three digit we will uh, we will consider last three digit where the difference is 227 and 194 so here let's say 227 minus 194 which is 33 okay 227 uh, 2271942 the difference is 33 okay now let's this difference 840 uh, sorry 407 and 374 so this is 33 difference is for css selector okay so let me write here 33 is for css now for x path it is x path for this 407 minus 374 407 minus 4374 374 which is 33 so here also like pretty much so almost we are on six seven uh, digit we have compared and the difference is almost same so hardly we can see any difference is there if we go beyond that <laughs> there could also be like hardly any any performance difference will be there so sometimes there also like you can see that here the css selector uh, and uh, both the css selector which has been written which is almost like the best one could be written for the any element like because they have been written based on the id so we have seen that whenever we execute it the code when we execute with x path or with css selector it's really hard to measure like which one is faster or which one is slower even if we like different uh, differentiate both the value like these complete values there also like very rarely uh, there will be difference and in fact like if we execute this code again and we'll see that depends on like what kind of internet speed is there and what kind of uh, like uh, at that situation how fast your dom is loading that really matters hardly we uh, we can say that there is any performance issue in the x path or css selector with the real time browsers so my take on this is that yes theoretically we can say that uh, css selector is faster because we write based on the properties and directly look for the properties while in case of x path we uh, traverse through the dom we have to like traverse one by one from the top to bottom and or if we are using double forward slash say so this way it used to go to query in the dom but in reality with the real uh, with the latest browser engine there is hardly any performance difference between x path and css selector in the real time i hope uh, this comparison help you guys a lot to understand you guys can also execute the same piece of code you can write multiple x path and css selector there could be sometime uh, there could be a difference but it's not really true that always css selectors are faster this is like uh, we used to keep saying that but uh, in practical in reality sometimes you will find that your x path code works really faster than the css selector one so it's not the reason that uh, not always the reason that x path or css selector was the issue there could be a chance that internet speed was slow there could be a chance that your browser was uh, not running that fast your system doesn't have that much ram that is also possible depending on what is the memory size of your laptop or the server where you are executing the script so multiple parameters is not just the x path or css selector that your script is running fast or slow depends on multiple parameter your web application your browser your memory of the system or your, or the server internet speeds etc also try it by yourself it's not like that uh, there could be a chance that if i would have subtracted these values there could be a little bit difference as well the uh, the whole value but you can also try it by yourself so this is the result of what i executed and what i have showed you guys because when i run uh, before making this video i found this difference but when i actually run this uh, in front of you guys it was almost similar yeah so this is my comparison like uh, this is how uh, it's actually happening like in real time like what uh, performance of these two locators is you can try like uh, executing the similar kind of code and uh, do share your uh, execution time difference between uh, in both the scenarios
please do let me know in the comment section yes it may or it may not vary there are there could be a chances that uh, slight difference you might found in when you execute so please let us know or if you know any better way to uh, check the performance or see the perform or how can we like uh, see the performance of both the selectors test the performance of both the selectors so please let me know in the comment section what's your thoughts so this is how uh, what i thought so uh, i just created this tutorial it's lot many people were uh, commenting and asking that which one is faster so this is a one way there could be many ways to identify the performance thing and uh, measure the performance so please do let me know in the comment section also share your thoughts you if you have anything like you can also create the tutorial and just share with us on youtube with that thank you thank you so much guys thank you